Sri Samsarana, sir. Welcome to Gorkha Spirit. Thank you. Uh, why is uh, Afghanistan so important uh, for uh, global power? There is a book, Returning the King, I think that's the name. So it's a novelized version of the Afghan problem. I think it came out around 2013. You will find it in YouTube. Uh, there is a, the author was a guy called Dalrymple. Uh, he gave a lecture on the book. Maybe it was proportional in an educational institution in Singapore. At the, there the The British got involved in Afghanistan, ostensibly, to overthrow a usurper. He was a... Uh, uh, I forget his name. Uh, and he was to be replaced by another uh, former ruler who had uh, taken refuge in India. So he was replaced. The British replaced him. And at that time the plea was, the Russians are coming. But then that very military strength the East India Company had in to displace the former ruler, that military strength was dis dissipated by the Afghans in three days. I think something like around 20 to 30,000 British soldiers were thoroughly incapacitated in three days. Uh, at, at one level, um, there was only one man who is said to have escaped that massacre. This author, Dalrymple's, uh, maybe great-grand-uncle or something. Okay. And later it was found that there was a pocket of Gorkhas, 20 Gorkhas, who saved themselves in a cave. And then a West European, who also emerged from that massacre. And that massacre helped trigger another war where the British uh, entered and replaced the people, the, the king that they had brought, replaced him with the previous king again. And the guy who was being replaced said, what are you doing? We are just a country of people mud and stones. What's so important? The question is there. You ask the same question. Afghanistan is nothing but soil and population. Unfortunately, it borders human traffic from east to west and from north to south. This Dalrymple's lecture, actually, is important in the sense that uh, he concluded the lecture saying, well, the Americans, they, and this is in 2014, the Americans have to leave, the British left, the Russians left, and now perhaps it is China. He ended his lecture that way. The fact is that Afghanistan is strategic. It's the roof of the world in a way, Pamir Nauts. All the major mountains in Asia go from that place. Uh, and uh, for us particularly, for what was at one time called the Indian subcontinent, that was the major ga gateway. 
see, after the fall of the Persian Empire, okay, the Greeks came that way. And so did the Muslims. The only invaders who did not come from up north into South Asia were the British who came from down east, Calcutta, Madras. That is why Nepal was formed. Because the population gradually shifted to the hills. In the south there was a major malarial jungle. And the migration pattern was from west to east. We came, kept on coming, seeking refuge from these invaders. That is why Nepal was formed. Asali Hindustan. Because our beliefs were basically challenged by invaders who had a totally different belief system. And much of uh, the population in what is Pakistan and in Indian, uh, India, uh, they retain the original Hindu beliefs for that God. Okay, uh, is uh, uh, U.S. is uh, the Taliban uh, is a terrorist group? Uh, do you think so? Somebody's terrorist is another body's freedom fighter. Depends on how you look at it. For the Americans, they may be terrorists. But it looks like right now, they are in a position to cooperate with them. Because uh, ISIS, I mean, the, there is no ex extreme to radicalism, you know. You can keep on radicalizing yourself. So there are now Daesh, ISIS, and uh, so many other terrorists. Okay. That does not suit the, Brit the, the West, perhaps. Perhaps uh, the Taliban suits them better. They are not being treated like terrorists. There is a degree of cooperation. Um, India, uh, India is irritated much when Taliban came in power. Mm. What's the reason behind this? Indian politics in Afghanistan is... Uh, uh, actually, I think uh, this re-emergence of Taliban in government should force uh, India to revalue their neighborhood policies. Okay. Uh, India champ championed the non-aligned cause, okay, but compromised it by accepting the Russian invasion in Afghanistan. Okay. Uh, somehow, uh, Pakistan gained headway because uh, It formed the base for anti-Russian activities in Afghanistan. And Taliban was among the forefront. Plus then there is this, uh, you see the, the uh, Sikh empire of Ranjit Singh, which stopped short of Afghanistan. It went up till Rawalpindi. But the population, in Afghanistan, the major population in Afghanistan uh, was retained within the Sikh, Sikh empire also. So what is now at this moment Pakistan. That was what uh, uh, previously occupied by Ranjit Singh. Right? The population are Pakhtuns. Uh, the king of Afghanistan was a Pashtun. Somehow, the vote and electoral politics gives Pakistan uh, an advantage in Afghanistan because the major 
population among its several tribes. I think there are seven or eight, eight, nine, ten, I don't know how many tribes there are. There's the, the Pathans are the largest, okay? Uh, of which a major, major portion lies, uh, stays within Pakistan. The Indians find themselves handicapped now. It is unfortunate that India-Pakistan relations should impinge on Afghanistan relations. I think they will have to correct it by and by. Uh, although what I see in the Indian media is uh, uh, virtual uh, exhortation of uh, Indian investments against the Taliban, which is dangerous again. I mean, I mean what, what I see is Afghanistan will be for quite a while, a cauldron of uh, uh, very serious radicalization. I'm just hoping that China will not, as predicted by Dalrymple, China will not get involved in it. Okay, uh, just, just my second question. Uh, what are the interests of Russia and China in Afghanistan? Primarily stability and security. Afghanistan is now, uh, will now be another Islamic Republic. There are at least four, I think, uh, Islamic uh, states in what used to be the Russian Soviet Union. Okay. And uh, is, Afghanistan is also in proximity to the troubled Shing Xinjiang, what is it? A uh, region, the Muslim majority re region in China. Uh, it will be of security concern. I think their major concern should be in establishing order and peace in Afghanistan so that uh, they not be threatened. As I told you, it is. Uh, uh, what happens in Afghanistan influences at least seven countries around. China is one, Russia is the other. Uh, at the last, uh, it is claimed that uh, Nepal is uh, going to be the second Afghanistan. Is it true? No, as things stand, uh, we don't seem to be finding our own bearings as a state, as a independent sovereign state. I mean, uh, we are losing grounds on whatever we had made as a modern state. Our politics, uh, uh, as if intentionally, is allowing uh, uh, these achievements to dissipate. It may be very difficult for us to assert our own sovereignty if things stand. Thank you, sir, for joining with us. Welcome.